Welcome to part two of our episode with Albert Maraguente, who's a professional part-time super in Berkeley. way too much garbage than, than I was or, expecting. Well, they could show it to you after the garbage is taken I out. I know, exactly. So maybe you have to visit like twice before the garbage yeah. and after the garbage. You could, or exactly. you can go... Exactly, yeah. exactly. You said it. Jen, that's, that's one of the most important things, what you just said. Believe it or not. I mean, garbage is a big factor. Right. You know? Yeah, that's where, that's a huge time eater. Does the stairs get vacuum? I mean, the whole building gets vacuum. Does it have rugs? No, no rugs. It's all it's all hard floor, tile floor. So that's why yeah. build, building walkthrough is so important. Yeah, that's why building you gotta walk the building, take yeah. a look at it, and the more experience you have, the more you'll be able to correctly gauge the time. Right. Um, even so, with Albert, just you know, having he's been doing this for twelve years, you can kind of see where he's pointed out the the important stuff, which is, you know, um, you know, he mentioned that the the dusting of the moldings is going to take more time, the snow clearing is going to take more time, landscaping, watering is going to take more time, um, right. and I guess Albert's going to work with the vendor to 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 schedule them to this for the same time that he's there, so that this, you know, he doesn't have to come on an off day to give them. Um, Give them some, you know, uh, take care of them, give them access. Okay, so it's kind of like um, coming up with a price and with with the building walkthrough. It's kind of like when you are going to see a house. You mean a walkthrough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to know, uh, uh, like, when there's there's rain it might be it might there might be so many leaks but if you go to a house when it's really sunny and nice you'll say you'll you'll think oh this is a great house right and then you go there when it's raining like oh you see all the leaks from the windows right so you have to kind of test like different situations or at least be aware that oh this could be the case right right so because you want to get a full picture yeah. of that. Yeah. So going there, maybe surprising. <laughs> maybe, you know what you should do? Go there. Surprise visit. Surprise visit. <laughs> yeah, more, or maybe at oh, night. That's the way they do it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. so the proper way of doing it. Right, right. But, I mean, you, you mentioned the uh, $500 uh, as as something with, with these things extra, right? Um I think I think one thing that uh, you are you are considering cleaning the stairwells and mopping every time that you're there. That's why the price is high, right? Correct. So what if I tell you if I'm the condo board president and I tell you five hundred is way too much for a small small building, and uh, we got a I, I need a better number. What would you do? I I'm thinking should I say. I have to get rid of some of the tasks. Well, it's uh, maybe I can suggest. Oh, these really these aren't really needed every week visit. So if you can take that out, so I'll make sure it's done every month. Um, and maybe that's an option too. I can yeah, suggest that. I, I, I think that's definitely an option. Albert, I think. Uh, what was what was that? Uh, we're you know? saying that. You know, in order to if the if the building wants to get a lower price, then what you would do is you would take this list and you would pare it down a bit. Yeah, yeah but they made that list for a reason. They want these things. You know, don't forget it's a co-op condominium. They have meetings and they they mm. the, the tenants want certain things and and you know you so, know how it is. All right, so want, all right, so let's. Once a week, right, right, and then they're fighting for us. That's where they have these board meetings. It would be one unit stuff. owner, right, right, versus tenant. But uh, so, what would be, what would you do if they say, they, well, we're not? The lowest that would do it. The lowest that would do it is the 
do it is she won the number. Three fifty a week. Wow, that's a thirty three percent. That's what uh, I thought. That's what I kind of expected. Yeah, that that's a that's a third, almost a third that's cut off. Why why did you uh, drop it down like that? Because uh, if I do the, the the whole ways once a month, okay. 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 It's less hours I'm gonna be there. Okay. Okay. Um. Wait. So you did pare down that list. Yeah. So it's not like you're giving them a Christmas present. <laughs> well, yep. what, what, uh, okay. I don't so, think unless unless the building is, you know, a lot of buildings want me to clean it once a week. Honestly, James. Yeah. A lot, but it's not my say. Like I say, they, they they call only only time I have a say is when they rent those. You know. Okay. But a lot of times, you know, if there's a rent, I tell the owner, they say, you know what, Albert, you're right. You know, and I say your price will come down. You know. Okay. And, and, and they and they see, but when you come to these co-op and condominiums, they have. Way different standards, James. So what if? All right. People. So Albert, let, let's just go back. When you said five hundred, and I said to, and I'm the co-op, I'm the condo board president, and I said to you, Albert, we have a very high standard here. Um, can you give us a better price? But uh, you would come back to me and say, I can give you a better price, but certain things don't have to be done. Uh, every visit, like mopping all the hallways and the basement, would you? Yes. That's what you would say, right? You would say, Correct. I you don't need this every every week because this raises this raises your price. So yeah. what you need to do is, if we can drop that to how often? One once a month or once? Yeah. Once, once a month. A month uh, then then we can give you a lower price, right? Correct. Okay. Okay, so then as a as the condo board owner, I'm going to say, so will you still do the um, the the cleaning of the light fixtures every time and the dusting of the hall walls once a month? Um, will you still do that? Yes. Okay. So you would you would still, even if the light fixtures can be done as a. Yeah, but Deep like, clean. between you and I, they're not going to, I mean, I'm going to check them, not that I'm going to skimp on the job. The life fixtures, once you clean them, you don't have to clean them, uh, dust them down every month. You understand, James? So you would give you them, that much. right, right, right. You know? so, so you would give them a, a, a deep cleaning without charging them more? My first initial cleaning would be, in other words, deep cleaning for... In other words, for free because deep cleaning is way more. You know that. Wait, uh, but how I come? Have that that how wasn't c- clean for like a year. Yeah. And I got the job, and I said, "Listen, I got to charge you. I, I'm going to spend five hours here. Right. You know, because it hasn't been done. You know. Right. You know things like that. Wait, and so you do? You do? Now, but it's fine. You so you do charge for deep cleaning? For the when first I first time. get a building, and I can tell that it hasn't been cleaned for months or a year. Right. Definitely would tell them I got to so it. So it would depend. So you would, you would, instead of doing it, so you're not doing it for free, um, the, the life fixture, uh, you're, you're looking at it and saying, do I need to do it, give it a once over, and if I have to do it because they've neglected it for so long, I'm going to charge extra, and then that life fixture should, should be good for a long time. Correct. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for example, I see, um, okay, let's say light fixture. If I clean it every day versus if I clean it once a week, will they know? Can I just say I'll do it with that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're 100 right. Wait, wait, she's right about what? <laughs> yeah, because they don't know if I clean it every day. They don't or... know, James. They don't know. But, you know, that's... But don't listen, you think that I if you say... sit... Yeah. The thing is, they I, don't know I, that they they do only need it for for like it, this is a monthly task. So let me ask you. It's probably because their okay. former super did not clean it for five months. They're saying hey, you got to clean it every week. Okay, that's so, my assumption. So let let me get this straight. So you're saying keep it in there, 
that you clean it every week. Yeah. But because you yourself know that it doesn't have, it's not going to be a big difference. It's not going to be different. But they won't know. They won't know. Especially if you have to you take can, a ladder and can, go upstairs. You can still you can still do it once a month, but say that you'll do it on every visit. Yeah. James, I don't know because this is uh, we're, we're we're recording this and stuff like that. But honestly. <laughs> Half of the people do that. Well, know? okay, but this is my thing. This is my thing. I, I, I would say, even if that's the case, that they don't know, I would just, I would let them know. Yeah, what exactly. You're you do. can let them know. I, yeah, I would say this. I would say, if that is true, because, because that will be, um, if you say, if you explicitly say that you're doing it every week, you should be yeah. accountable for that. And you should be responsible for that. And it doesn't make you look good if one day they find out that you haven't been doing it. And then you say, oh, because it doesn't need it. Because then later on, they'll say, well, why were we paying you for that? And then they'll cut it down. I would say, yeah. Yeah, what would you say? I would say in that case, there's a way to do it where uh, you're, you're telling, you're essentially telling, telling it how it is. But... Um, you don't have to. You don't have to let them building owners know how the sausage is made. So, in other words, you don't have to tell them your processes. You can say once a month um, during this month, we'll make sure that your light fixtures are clean. Correct. Hmm. You yeah. know, for the whole month, we'll make sure that your light okay. fixtures are clean. Then and it doesn't matter whether you do it. It doesn't matter okay. if you do it once then a day. No, no, no. But but see, that's right. But right. But the problem, you you made the mistake, Albert, by saying that you'll do it once a week. Instead of saying that, I'm saying, say that for that month, for every month, um, you will keep that life fixture clean. Now that doesn't mean that you're gonna do it once a month. It doesn't mean that you're gonna do it every day, thirty times a week, thirty times a month. It just means that that life fixture is going to be clean for that month. So, whether it takes you, uh, you know, once, once a once a month to do it, or if there's a problem and all of a sudden you have a a weird situation where it, something happens to the life fixture again and you have to clean it twice a month, it doesn't matter because the building is getting what it wants and what it paid you for, and you don't have to bring your price down if later they're like, well, you, we found out that you were cleaning the uh, life fixtures only once a month. And you're like, you, all you have to say is, I never promised more than, I said it's gonna be clean. It's gonna be clean. As long as it's clean uh, for 30 days out of that month, the 31 for the whole month, uh, I've done my, I've done what I promised. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't know, right? Yeah. They, they don't know the difference between everyday, like cleaning the light fixture every day versus cleaning the light fixture once a month. Right. Like, and it's the same thing. Yeah, let's say it's the same thing. Do I have to let them know? No, that's what I mean. I mean, you don't have to let them know, but the difference I thought we were talking about was agreeing with a, uh, uh, a thing, uh, the task list here and saying we're going to be cleaning the light fixture at every visit and saying yes, but not doing it. Yeah, the, the thing is that... Like the the reason why they put it up there on the list is because they want the light fixture to be clean, right? Right. If that's the case, I mean their language is just different. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I'm trying to say is, like, I unless they want to see physically see someone cleaning. Um, the light fixture right. um, every week. It's, I mean, it's not just necessary. Not necessary to write down exactly how many times you do it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree Unless with you. Unless you well, keep it clean. clean James. Okay, you now I understand know, what you're saying. Making an agreement. Like, what Jen is right. You're making an agreement, but you know, like. Yeah. I I think I, I I think we're all kind of talking about the same thing in that we don't you know. Um, I think we all agree if you, if it says 
don't promise what you won't do, but you don't have to tell them, tell everything um, to the building of what, how it gets done. And, and often the building doesn't want to know how many times it gets done. It just wants that to be done. It just wants, it wants the result. It wants the result. It doesn't want, they don't want to know um, how you do it. Yeah. Right. Right. So I, I think we're on the same page about that. But um, uh, what we did, what we did kind of agree, uh, uh, find a common ground with this task is that there are going to be, we are going to do walkthroughs of the building. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's, you know, we talked about why it's important to do walkthroughs. It's important to not say yes to everything, but to look at it critically and to see what, um, what can be done uh, to do it critically and to come back with what you are able to do in yeah. that in that price. Mm -hmm. And as you get more experience about how long it will take, you get better and better at that. Um, and that often, you know, these task lists are are not the the, what do you call that, are not the end all. It's not like the final product. You can take this and you can feel comfortable to go through it and pick out the things that you feel like you can do in, in the time and the pay that they're, in the time that they're paying you for. And anything that's outside of it, like what, landscaping, uh, snow, make sure it's clear to tell them that that's not, that's not included, right? And um, as you said, if it comes down to like, the other lesson is, you know, material, it says over here that materials are covered by the building. Make sure that you're not buying materials for the building. Um, these are materials that the building uses for its benefit. Uh, these materials benefit the building, garbage bags and all that stuff. So they should be paying for that. Um, directly. That's very important, James. That's yeah. really important. So if That's this, if this, it doesn't stay it on the list. Luckily, this one does, but there are going to be. I've seen task lists where it says, uh, "Super will provide." Super will provide, and that's when a red flag should go off in your head and say, uh, "That's either find a way to roll it into your your price because you're going to be covering it." Or simply, because it can become a hassle, just tell the owner that, because the prices of garbage bags will go up and prices of supplies will go up. And then if your price doesn't go up, you're gonna eat that cost of that material. So you, it's much easier for everybody if you just take care of that um, through the building, have the building take care of that. The only pain in the, pain in the butt that I'll, I can think of is if you don't have a responsive building and let's say you need materials and they don't have it purchased and ready for you, then you're waiting for someone else to buy these things and that could take some time and that could interfere with your work. Building could get unhappy and then people start pointing fingers and uh, it'll ultimately come to you being frustrated and going out and buying these materials yourself and then having to build back the building. So we just want to be careful that um, th those things are, are, are clear from the outset. Yeah. And, and James, to add to this, so, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I talk to other people and stuff like that. They think that a, a super job is so easy and there's nothing to it. Oh, you just draw up a and speak before and you go home, you know, but there's a lot more to it, you know? Yes. Of course. Super is needed, and a lot of people don't have time, you know? There's a lot of professional people, they don't have time for that, so they want to hire someone to make their place where they live to look great, you know, and that's what we do. We give them service. Service is what works in America, you know that. Oh, yeah. That's all. It's awesome. American. <laughs> No, oh, no, 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 I agree with you. There's no manufacturing, there's right. nothing. Service is what makes, makes that's, that's uh, the type of business right. that people are being successful. 
in service right, right, right now. Right. Before there was manufacturing, there's this, there's a service is the key of, of, of America. I right. Think. That is I, true. And we know you provide great service, Albert. Uh, Jennifer, do you have um, uh, any wrap-ups that you have here? or? I think you did a good job um, wrapping up. I'm a little worried about our last conversation. But I, I wasn't well, trying to deceive uh, like, that we can just, you know, um, oh, ignore, it's, yeah. ignore the uh, I misunderstood request. you. Yeah, I misunderstood you. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah, like how the sandwich is made. We don't... When we see a sandwich, which is the, the very end product. <laughs> we say <laughs> we sausage. The we call it sausage. Yeah. You know how sausages are made? People oh, don't yeah. want to know how sausages are made. Yeah. When oh, you yeah. grind everything. So they say, you don't, have to, you don't have to show them how the sausages are made. Just let them eat it. <laughs> yeah. But because they don't know. They don't right. know. And it's, is it really worth fighting over or negotiating uh. over over that where you know they just don't know i see i see and they will say i know my building and i know it needs to be taken care of weekly oh. that's the thing but but actually you don't <laughs> so it's a situation where someone says i want that life fixture clean five times a week yeah and you're like you don't need it and they're like i'm the boss i want it done five times a week exactly and then you're like I'm not going to do it five times a week. And then he's like, yeah, I'm not going to choose you. Instead of saying that, just say, all right, look. Yeah. The life fixture will be clean, okay? Yeah. And I'll try to follow your, 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 your steps. Yeah, and they won't know. Like, I'm so sure, 100% sure. Don't and, fight over it, especially yeah. if, if the end product is the same. Yeah, and, it's the same. And this is something that's harmless. It's, it's not important to the longer yeah. scope of things um, and you kind of say that but it, it becomes tricky only because if they if you just say yeah though and later on they see it you know they put up cameras and they see that you're not clean that five times yeah. a week so then they you, can be like, yeah that's the thing if you want to see see someone clean it because i don't know it's very, very that, joyful yeah <laughs> like not joyful what? i think it's more like entertaining or whatever they, yeah. they just love to see someone clean the building some people don't like to be deceived and they'll go to extreme lengths to, to make sure that you know they're yeah. not deceived correct correct so i mean Another if that's big case, thing, you, should, you should watch this show i mean i, I hate to say it, but it's, it's a different topic but you don't a lot of people don't understand the stuff that we use how it's made so i watch a show on a Sunday, it's called How We Make It, you know? Right. Oh, and yeah. how to make yeah. potato chips, how to make cups. Oh. You know those plastic cups? Yeah. It's a big process to make them. I yeah. mean, they have machinery. But James, you don't believe how they make them, how they dye them red. You know, you know a lot of them are red. Yeah, Dixie like Cups. It, it, it is so much work That's where I drink my wine that out people of. take it for granted. <laughs> Every, During picnics. Everything that's made. I mean, I watch potato chips. How they, how they cut the potatoes and, and thousands of potatoes and, and peel them and make this little potato chip. Yeah. And everybody thinks it's easy. They don't realize how difficult that chip was to be made. You right. Know? But then again, there's some people that, you know, when they're hungry, they'll be like, I don't give a beep how it's made. I just want, <laughs> I just yeah. want to eat it. Just like that. Like you're fighting over. The customer wants, you know, I want my potatoes to be hand-picked and made into <laughs> potato chips versus... A truck. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't matter. It's the same potato chips. Right. Right. I want it to be hand delivered because I don't want to. I don't want the fossil carbon, the carbon footprint of a, a yeah. truck delivering it. And often those guys still do it. Or it's probably like non-GMOs or um, whatever. Yeah, uh, I want my non-GMO to be hand picked right. versus I want my hand <laughs> like right. non-GMO picked with a shovel. I mean, that's that's the difference. Right. What I'm saying, the it's customer the same doesn't know. GMO potato. The customer doesn't know. Yeah, the customer the doesn't price. know. Right. Uh, but yeah. Okay. But she's right. She's a hundred percent. Because I have customers that tell me, Albert, I want this done like this, and I want it done. There's so many customers, and they demand it. They don't care. They just that's their demand, and that's what they want. They don't care. Like you're saying, they don't care how it's done. I want it done every week. I have customers that I could tell you they do that all the time. And right. I say, oh my God. Exactly. I gotta do this. 
me and does it make sense? I can say, I sit back and think, right, right. why? You know? Right, it right. Does it make sense? That's what they want. I think, I think at least, at the very least, um, in the case with the non-GMOs, you know, how it's hand-picked, you're saying that it doesn't matter. Like, it, it really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it was picked by hand or by a shovel. Right. Because it's harmless, right? And um, harmless. Now, if it was GMO, if it, if where it does matter is if it said that it was healthy, but it's really not, and right. that was deceptive, because then you're yeah. buying a product based on... But, it, but hand and shovel is pretty harmless. Exactly. Okay. So if, if I say I'll, I'll clean it and that it's dirty, then that's wrong, right? Right. right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I see what you're so saying. This is, I think this is where it becomes tricky. Um, you have a customer, you have a boss. Right. And I... It's some sort of political, you you have to do some politics. So if you're a newbie, though, don't engage in that. <laughs> I gotta shut up and just just do whatever. No, I would say this: don't 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 shut up, and don't just do it. But what I would say is, um, the best way to do it is if a case where someone says hand pick it, follow the hand picking. Yeah. Follow the hand picking. If and just I'm a say, newbie, yeah. Yeah, just just follow what they what they're saying. You're gonna you're it's if it's something that's unreasonable, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna get pissed off, and then it's your job to bring that up to the to the to the board and to show them uh, that what they're saying is is not necessary. Mm -hmm. And and that's only if you're a newbie. Now, if you're someone who's more experienced, like Albert you'll have your own way to do it. Right. And right. you'll have your own way to do it before you have to invest that time. Mm -hmm. um, right. I try to figure out, you know, we, we figure out, I think back, and even if it's a stupid item that doesn't make sense, I figure it out. I say, how could I do it so, you know, it's yeah. not right, and it's no big deal. Instead of arguing with them back and forth. A lot of times, you're not going to win. Mr. Right. I'm paying you to do this, and you've got to do it. Right. You right. want to work? There's mm -hmm. people that are supposed to tell you that, James. I'm Th you. This may, by the way, this episode may be the longest uh, oh, podcast. Yeah. This but, is. You know what, James? Is uh, I honestly as have twelve. I mean, about twelve years experience is. It's the best thing I've done to sit down and discuss this. You know, awesome. that, because it makes sense. So there's a lot of topics that we're bringing up that people are not thinking about. You understand, James? Yeah. And this is one. Of them, you know. Why should we do it every week when it's not needed? You know, right, and, right. And stuff like that. This, this is this is really good. I enjoy it. I enjoy every bit of it. And oh, it's great. opening up my mind. That's awesome. We're, we're that's what that's exactly uh, what we we're trying to do. What we we're trying to do for the listeners. So you're helping doing that. So we appreciate it, Albert. And uh, and it's great to get uh, Jennifer's perspective because I'm, I'm realizing yeah. that I, I I just assume that everyone knows this stuff and her perspective is coming back as um, is reflecting that I may be jumping a lot of points here that I need to kind of slow down with so um, but but thanks for joining us Albert and and you join us again right Oh man I love this I enjoy it All right very. I heard you and Jen uh, on um, pricing. Um, it was really interesting. I couldn't stop listening to it. They were calling me. I was uh, dismissing the calls. I had to listen to the whole thing because I tried the first day and I got stopped twice. But I got so into it that it, it, it makes sense, you know? It makes a lot of sense and there's a lot of ways of pro pricing and quality and, you know, and stuff like that that you guys mentioned, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, great. That's great to hear. Thank you for the comments. Yeah. Thank you. And you sounded really good, Jay. <laughs> yeah, you sounded really good. You know? Thank you. They don't always sound good. Thanks, <laughs> You know? Not at all. <laughs> oh, Jay, uh, one thing that I would like, I mean, I, I, you know, especially on a building like this, right. I mean, I mean, a lot of times you don't do that. You know, we, we should print out a list for the workers, and we should try to categorize what they you know like once a week once a month so they remember and they see it you know we should we should put this i had a customer when i first started 
she had picture frames of my duties oh. in the basement. Okay. You know, she put in a picture frame. Right. You got to do this once a week, once a month, and stuff like that. I you see, know? I see, That's yeah. awesome. Wow. In yeah, the picture yeah, frame. She yeah, she put in a picture frame in the basement for me. Just, I, just in I'm, case. I'm a little offended by that, actually. No, no, no. So, you know, you experience different, uh, as, as an owner, you know, you experience different type of people that flag and say, oh, I didn't know it. And she put it in writing. She's on like, look frame. at this. I, look at this expensive frame with See, with your tasks new, inside. No, I, I learned think something it's... new every day. When I got that job, I said, "She's too smart for me." <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. I, I just, I'm not offended. I I'm, mean, that's like Instagram, like ten years ago. It's like <laughs> seeing the photos in the email. Well, how's it? What's the difference? What's you know? the difference? Yeah, I just think that it's kind of like you know, it it. it uh, yeah, yeah pic but, pictures no. say a lot of words, so... Wait, it's a picture of the list? It's a photo of the list? Yeah, or? she. what she did, she put it in bold letters, one, two, let's say ten, made one frame, made another frame, and another frame. And she put it on the wall, and she said, these are the duties that have to be done at three or four Clinton. And it tells you monthly, daily, or uh, uh, quarterly, Oh, okay. stuff like that. So it's just wow, a reminder, cool. right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you like that because it kind of grounds you and it's reminds when, you, okay. When, when you, uh, like a, as a business owner, when I hire someone. I see, I see, um, I see. And the, the customer told me I want these demands. Um, my job is to make sure the person that I hired to do that does it, you okay. know? It's much and easier than they me for those demands. Right, right, so right. you got to give them that respect. You understand, James? Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, 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 I think you're telling the, the power of writing things down. So. Yeah. Th thank you very much, Albert. I All appreciate right, thank it. Thank you, thank you, Dad. We got to get together and do this live. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm game. You could be. Yeah, but we got to get a topic that's really good. And we gotta practice this so we can look professional. And we do look. Like, we are professional. We'll get, Wait. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get a million viewers. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. You <laughs> I know. Never know. We actually just we're we're hoping to reach the uh, the guys that were us, you know, uh, when we started, and to give them a hand. You never know. Okay. okay. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate it. And thank we you. Should, we just heard from uh, Albert, our uh, professional part-time person to look up to.